Hi everyone, welcome to my channel International Storyteller. In this channel you will find true horror stories worldwide. These stories are for entertainment purposes only. In this video, I will tell you the real story of the House of Mirrors. The House of Mirrors is a creepy abandoned house in the Spanish city of Cadiz. Cadiz is an ancient port city in the southwestern part of Spain. This 3,000-year-old port city has absorbed a great deal of culture and history. The port became very popular in the 16th century as a base for exploration and trade. It is well known that Cadiz has been the center of maritime trade and one of the most important ports since ancient times. This abandoned house in the Spanish city of Cadiz is known as La Casa de los Espejos, or the House of Mirrors. No one lived in this house, and it has been abandoned for many years. It is a big and beautiful three-story house with a design that has a rich Spanish history. Although anyone in Cadiz who believes in ghosts or is familiar with the mansion's history would never enter or walk near it at night. It is said to be haunted by the ghost of a girl. People who lived nearby claimed that, late at night, they could hear the sound of screams echoing around the old building. They said that it sounded like a young girl crying out in pain. Many children who have broken into it and entered the house say that they heard the sound of a girl's crying, and there are people who have even seen her standing inside the mirror hanging on the wall. Some brave people also enter the house to investigate the mysterious sounds. The noises seem to be coming from the top floor of the house. They heard the pitiful sound of a girl crying and wailing inside the house at night. The screams were so strange that they seemed to bounce off the mirrors, as if the sounds were coming out of each one of them. One guy who carelessly entered the house accidentally broke one of the mirrors. When he picked up the broken piece of the mirror and looked at them, it did not reflect his face. Instead, he was horrified to see the reflection of a dead girl in the mirror. Her face on the broken piece of mirror had an expression of anger that made him want to run out of the house. Other people who visited the house claimed that they saw a scary girl watching them from inside the mirrors hanging on the wall. They fled the house in terror after seeing the scary girl in the mirror and considered themselves fortunate to have escaped with their lives. A few years ago, some young people organized trips to this old abandoned house. They held a contest to see who could stay the longest inside the haunted house. But after they spent a few minutes inside the house, they were all haunted by a scary girl screaming out of the mirrors. So they all ran out of the house and never dared to enter it a second time. The story of the House of Mirrors became so famous that many people came from far and wide to explore the old abandoned building at night. Most of them wanted to either demonstrate their courage or investigate whether it was possible to look in the mirrors and catch a short glimpse of the scary ghost girl. So what had really happened in this old house, and why is it called the House of Mirrors? In order to know this, let us hear the full story of the House of Mirrors. Many years ago, in the 17th or 18th century, an important admiral in the Spanish Navy lived in this house with his wife and young daughter. The admiral often stays away from home for long periods of time, as his ship travels from one port to another across the world. His journeys took him to many different foreign countries. The admiral loved his beautiful daughter more than life itself. Every time he went on a trip, the girl asked her father to bring her a mirror, since she loved to look at herself in them. Then his daughter would say goodbye with tears coming down her cheeks. She missed him more than anything else in this world. His daughter loved to collect mirrors. So each time the admiral returned from one of his trips, he would bring her back a new mirror as a present. As a result, the house was full of mirrors, which were precious gifts from the admiral to his daughter. All of these mirrors are different sizes, and the latest one is more beautiful than the previous one. From his journey across different countries such as Indian, African, Chinese, and American, the admiral brought mirrors that were different sizes, big or small, and made of wood, copper, or gold. These mirrors were hung in all the rooms, but especially in his daughter's room. The daughter would spend hours contemplating her reflection in those mirrors hanging on the wall. As the years passed, the house became filled with more and more beautiful and lovely mirrors. The girl enjoyed walking around her home and being able to look at her own reflection in each mirror. The years went by, and she became a beautiful girl, of whom the admiral was very proud and told his crew, friends, and colleagues that his daughter was the most beautiful girl in the Spanish city of Cadiz. 
However, the admiral's wife had grown old and lost her looks. What the admiral did not know was the deep hatred that her wife had for their daughter, since he gave little attention to her. He forgot to entertain his wife, who once had great beauty but gradually faded away. Since he didn't spend much time at home and the trips he took across different countries were very long, as a result, he hadn't noticed the change in his wife. The wife hated having to see herself in the mirrors and became very jealous of her beautiful daughter. Gradually, the woman became upset and her bitterness toward her own daughter increased day by day. The relationship between mother and daughter became worse because of the secret hatred that grew in the mother's heart. The arguments and fights between the mother and her daughter became more frequent during the time that the admiral was away at sea. She became convinced that her husband loved their daughter more than he loved his own wife. She was blinded by jealousy, and her thoughts against her own daughter grew dark and vengeful. So she decided to launch a cunning plan to get her husband back from her daughter. One day, the admiral told his wife and daughter that this journey would be his final trip across the sea, and after that he would retire and live forever in the house. After saying that, the admiral left the house for his final trip across the sea. The wife took this opportunity to put together a terrible plan to kill her daughter. At first, the mother pretended to love and care for her daughter. One day, she cooked a delicious fish and gave it to her daughter to eat. The daughter ate the delicious fish, but what she didn't know was that the fish carried a deadly poison. After eating the poison fish, she started to suffer from pain. At that moment, the mother gave her daughter a drink that contained poison. The poor girl drank the poison and started bleeding from the mouth and eyes, then died. That night, the mother rested more than usual. When she woke up, she didn't see her daughter contemplating herself in the mirrors, instead, she was dead, lying motionless on the floor. It didn't take long to bury her, and before closing the coffin, the mother put a mirror in it and whispered to her daughter's corpse. Let's see if you can look at yourself now. The mother believed that with the daughter dead, she and her husband could start their love again. Some days later, after the young girl's death, the admiral returned with a beautiful mirror for his daughter. When he reached home, instead of seeing his daughter, he was met at the front door by his wife. His wife told him what happened to their daughter and then lied to him about it. She calmly informed him that their daughter had suffered a horrible disease and died while he was away for his last trip. Upon hearing the terrible news that his daughter was dead, the admiral burst into tears. He was completely devastated and spent the next few days sitting in his daughter's bedroom, putting his head in his hands and crying bitterly. After that, the admiral started to stay at home with his wife. Late one night, as the father was wiping the tears from his eyes, he happened to glance into one of the mirrors that hung on the bedroom wall. What he saw made him tremble with fear. In the mirror, he saw a ghostly figure standing. As he watched, a shocking scene unfolded in the mirror. His daughter was sending him a message from beyond. The next night, while he was sleeping, he heard his daughter calling him in his ear. He got up and was surprised to see the image of his daughter reflected in one of his mirrors. She said, follow me, father, and she went from mirror to mirror that were hanging on the wall and started revealing the truth. Reflected in the mirror, his ghostly daughter saw how her mother had poisoned her. He watched as his daughter lay on the floor with blood pouring from her eyes and mouth, screaming out in pain. The sight of his beloved daughter poisoned and killed by his own wife was more than the admiral could handle. After discovering the awful truth about his daughter's death, the admiral became so mad at his wife. With rage in his heart, the admiral ran downstairs to find his wife, told her what had happened, and asked her for explanations about his dead daughter. Then his wife confessed and explained the whole truth, how she poisoned and killed her own daughter. The wife thought that her beloved husband would forgive her, but it was not like that. He brought her down to the local police station and forced her to confess to her crime of killing her own daughter. The woman was put on trial for the murder of her own daughter and sentenced to spend the rest of her days alone behind bars. They locked her up for life in a dark dungeon. No one knows if she died from some disease or simply from old age. However, the father never recovered after the death of his only daughter. He simply could not bear to go on living in the house where his daughter had been so cruelly murdered. Each mirror hanging on the wall reminded him of his daughter's beauty, and the memory of his daughter was so great that he was unable to get over the pain of her loss. 
He left Cadiz city and moved to a faraway place in an effort to forget his past. No one knows where he went or what happened to him after this. Since then, the house has lain abandoned for decades, with its walls still covered with a lot of different mirrors.